Thank you for staying with us. Now, for some of us, food is more than just fueling the body. It's about taste, texture, and how it makes us feel. The Philadelphia cheesesteak is so legendary that it has its own Wikipedia page. And as it suggests, it comes from the home of everything big, the USA. The, ori the origins of the cheesesteak goes back to 1930, when Pat and Harry Oliveri invented the iconic meal. The cheesesteak concept was then brought to South Africa by owner of Philly cheesesteak, Bruno Perth. And along with him is Chef Andile. Bruno, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks very much for having us. It's so amazing that, you know, when you do research on something, that it actually goes back to 1930, that this was a meal that originated all the way back then and was credited to, to Harry and, uh, and yeah. his team. Yeah. The guys actually had a hot dog stand and uh, one day they ran out of hot dogs um, and they decided instead of closing shop for the day that they would substitute they made the, what was the early cheesesteak. Cab Ooh. driver came past, loved it, said to them, forget about the hot dogs, do the cheesesteaks. That was where it all started. Uh, from there, they, they um, uh, uh, started a, a restaurant, mm. uh, which still operates today. Yeah, and, and it's incredibly uh, it's, it's, yeah, successful. It's absolutely awesome, yeah, yeah. And then it was interesting that the, the actual cheese was only added a little bit later. Yes, it's evolved uh, through the years, yeah. uh, but from 1930, and I'm sure you know as well, as you said, uh, it's mm. iconic in the States and uh, didn't exist in South Africa. That's why we decided that there's a big opportunity to bring it uh, to the local market. At what point when you were traveling around the States, were you like, the Philly cheesesteak would be so, would work in this environment? Um, say that again, I didn't get at, the question. At, at what point when you were traveling in the States and you uh, encountered okay. the Philly, that you decided, let's bring yeah, it to yeah, South yeah. Africa? Yeah, so I didn't really think much. You know, I did do a bit of traveling around the States, didn't really think much about it at the time. But we did decide when, when I came back to South Africa, we were watching, I don't know if you know Guy, uh, Guy what's his name, Guy Fieri, yeah. our diners, drive-ins and dives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they yeah. go around from restaurant to restaurant and we saw that, you know, Philly cheesesteak came up time and time again. Uh, then decided to do a bit of homework on the product called my brother up and told him, you know, this thing's huge in the States. We've got to do it locally. Are you interested? And that's where we started. Take me through some of the ingredients very quickly. Okay, so the main ingredient is thinly sliced beef, as you can see on the cheesesteak. Uh, we've got red peppers, caramelized onions. We've got chili for the bite. And then there's a range of cheeses, either cheddar, mozzarella. And then on the gammon cheesesteak, we've got slaw as well with some uh, mustard. But obviously, a preference on chili, is that added... Is that all yeah, yeah, that's that's customer specific. Some guys like a little bit hotter, other guys don't like the spiciness. So we really try and see where we can accommodate what is, customers. What is this? Is this a is this a Friday evening meal? Is this a, a pub meal? What is it? Well, yeah, I would say. I mean, we've got different formats. Um, it is a quick service restaurant, so I'd like to, you know, you you will say who are you and who are your competitors. So I'd like to say Rocco Mama style kind of environment, mm. a Nando style a kind of environment, but we also do fast food as well. Okay, so that's Bruno and Andile from Philly Cheesesteak Lebo and I are going to have a bite of this. We just have to work out who's going to have the one with the chilies in. We'll have to work that out. <laughs> Let's take an ad break. We'll be back after this.